guys. So you guys go but back we can't down. Tell them. Yeah. So you guys go back down into the main floor of the church, and do you guys uh, like you see at this point? Miles was in his room, and he may have heard some rustling downstairs. And he's walking around now, and you guys see him. Do you tell oh. him you got the key? No, he's nope. I walk fun. right past him personally. <laughs> All right, good. I'd hate to have to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else say anything to him? Nope. No. Sonny <laughs> doesn't say anything only because he looks deep in thought. Of course. Quite. Sonny's probably one of the more considerate members of our party, and that makes me uh, sad. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd agree. Why does that make you sad? Sonny can be considerate. So because uh, uh, like I don't know, I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Because Sunny so, being a douche is very <laughs> not okay. Uh, no, I just mean up. like I, Sunny's like bubbly and nice and all, and that's good. But I, I was like, I thought Haribo would be the most considerate person, but Sunny's just constantly looking out for people. <laughs> Haribo's considerate to a point. Yeah. He's naive. It's true. Just like, our, our group is kind of mean. Our group is kind of really mean. Not, yeah. not Miles, no. Never. Winslow's only mean to people who are mean to him. Yeah. <laughs> it's everybody. Yeah. And yeah. however, Winslow can be kind of and, abrasive. All right, let's get back to the point at hand, though. The yeah. So, as you guys walk towards the basement stairs and the doors you uh, you get to the door and you see one key or one keyhole and you put it in and it unlocks and when you guys go to open the door it makes a pretty loud like noise <laughs> and oh, Miles guess, you hear know. this yeah that gets my attention <laughs> yeah like you hear it <laughs> so even if they didn't tell you you know that they can get in the basement <laughs> uh, I mean I mean, at this point, it's basically like I was going to the basement door with them, but in not as, like, not nearly as obvious, you know? Of course. And you all descend to the basement. To the basement! Uh, yeah. Alright. Oh, um, before we go down any further, can I look back and, um, actually, hold on, let me read something before I ask this question. Okay. Uh... Okay, um, can I look back at them really quick and just tell them, um, if anybody asks, I, that door came open because I used a spell called, uh, shit, why can't I see it? No, no bar, go spell. up, why is it going down? Knock. Um, thaumaturgy, thaumaturgy, oh. or whatever. Oh, I use right. that spell to unlock, a, uh, unlock the door, if anybody asks. Can it do that? Uh, it's fine. Yeah, it can, it it can make lock, sure. it can make lock. Yeah. Okay. All right. And as you all descend, it almost looks barbaric in a sense. It compares into the grandiose of the upstairs. There's just like torches, and uh, just really not as clean stonework. It looks very, very old in comparison to everything else. And you guys are descending down, and it seems like a long time. And it's not that bright, and then you guys finally come at a door at the very end of the hallway, and you notice that it's just quiet down here. Like, there's no noise, there's nothing, there's just silence. You would assume you would hear things, but you don't. It's just eerily silent, and then you all walk into the room right here, where your door is, oh. and you see a room. Oh, oh God. A torture chamber. Probably. Yeah. And <laughs> I directed all the blood. To that really quick. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know, you guys walk into this, this room. <laughs> and do you guys walk around and look <laughs> yes. at the room? All right, move your pieces wherever you want to be. Where am I? Oh, oh snap. I Where? Get you. Uh, why can't I put myself up there? Uh, oh, Miles is there. 
Okay, Sunny's there. Winslow is now there. I just sprawled the across the table. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot how big this map was in comparison to y'all, so you can make your little icons bigger. Where's the door? door? The door is right here. Okay, over there. Oh, I see it yep. now, okay. Uh, how to make self bigger. Uh, you should be able to click on your token and just drag it to make I'm it not... bigger. Maybe it might be it's because I'm zoomed out too far if I can't. I will do it for everyone. I will make ah. you all bigger. Yes. The way I always wanted to it'd be. It'd be actually kind of funny. It was kind of, it'd be kind of oh, hilarious if you we were like Rick and Mortified and all small. Oh yeah. Oh snap. <laughs> Why are you bigger? <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> So as you all are walking around, uh, everyone make an investigation check on whatever you're looking at. I... I'm trying to get to these tests, but my token's not letting me. It keeps scrolling down when yeah, I try it... to move up. Does, uh, uh, does yes. extreme curiosity related here. to my backstory give me advantage? Yes. Yes? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, no, wait. I'm looking <laughs> over here... Because I assume there'd be some kind of medicinals or things wow. over here, right? This is some shit. Yeah. So, we will start at the top of the room in these chests and work our way down. Mm -hmm. So, in the chest with Miles and Sunny, you guys are rambling through these chests. And it's just like old writings. Like, it's just old letters. They look really dusty. Like, there's a whole layer of dust on these chest to begin with and when you open it you guys almost cough and sneeze at the level of dust that just like falls behind it, it almost looks like a dead rat amount of dust is now laying on the floor and you see this like all these cobwebs and it's kind of filled with like hay and letters and it's just old letters that are just like oh the church did this today have you guys looked at this like it's just like weird correspondence there's just very like casual talk but nothing of the interest really correct Harbo, you get to this table and you also see some more writings and such and it's also covered in dust the paper and as you go to clear off the dust you see a letter that says dear mary comma i miss you and then it just kind of fades off like the ink is just gone and it just kind of leaves at that. Zminiar, your investigation of these beds, as you're looking at them, you can easily distinguish that they're covered in blood. Like, they have blood stains, but it's very old. It's very old blood. It's browned, despite what the thing looks like on the map. It's very <laughs> browned and old. Yeah. And it looks like you go to even, like, move the pillow or touch them and you just like there's just so much dust and cobwebs in this room you're like no one's been in here for a while despite lanterns going but no one's been in here and Winslow you also find about the same things in the chest except you have instead of letters you have like tools that must have been just old and rusted from the table next to you and then there's the giant map in the middle on the table that you all would have kind of casually seen. Does anyone want to look at that? Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. can I go and mm -hmm. look at the uh, these over here? Yeah. I'm done. Okay. Yep, so as you all are kind of looking and just like walking around this room, Harbo, you make your way to this table and you just see all these old like weapons and just like weird devices that almost look like torture devices and they're just kind of dusty cobwebs you even see like an old spider kind of like scurry away from it as you walk up an elderly <laughs> spider yeah pretty old he has a beard oh. and uh you know the usual so yeah now i am keeping an eye on the door the whole time Okay, it's so what you guys say to each other, finding all of this. Are we sure that Prince Harold comes down here pretty regularly? It looks like none of this stuff has been used in a while. Hamlet. 
Yeah. What did I say, Harold? Yeah, yeah. you did. Yeah. You got yes. the young prince. <laughs> the thought oh. stands. Maybe there's I a say secret Harold. room in here somewhere. <laughs> Send the map first of all. Uh, D DM is mm -hmm. uh, are the bodies I'm next to in the same condition as the one that I just looked at? There are no bodies. It's just beds and bloody bedding. All right, I'm gonna walk back to them and ask them what they're all seeing right now. Mm -hmm. What they've all seen. Just stole the records. I found mm. this letter that doesn't make Should... a whole lot of sense. Do and we feel the same level of magic spot. that we did? Up... And as you Do guys walked, the... yeah, as you walked into this room, you guys. All of you, like, didn't really notice because you were just bewildered by the blood that was in the bottom right corner. That's pretty visible when you walk in. And, like, so you guys all, like, just kind of had this sense of dread. Like, you walked in and the air was very still and old and, like, as if this place could get even more silent, it did. It's just that eerily silence that you feel like someone's watching you, almost. So it's just, like, as you guys are standing in there... You just have this sense of that you are being watched. Does it feel similar to how we felt when we first got to the castle? Kinda, yeah. Okay. Like a little similar, but this one's a bit more darker. But Can I yeah, do an arcana you, uh... check on the letters and the uh, torture devices? Yeah. You can do an arcana check and an investigation on the map if you want. That's on the table. Is it the investigation on the map? Yeah. And that's two. I'm gonna do oh. a perception check well. for the feeling that we're getting. Yeah, that's two. Yeah. Go right ahead. Oh. All right. Perception. So we will start with the room. So the room, you guys don't see anyone. But as you're looking at the walls and just trying to double check that there's like no one peeping through, all of the stonework is pretty solid. You don't see any cracks in it, really. You just see a lot of webbing and dust that's kind of on the ridges of the wall that's been stacked up for quite some time you could almost gauge it on how long it's been since someone's been down there and other than that you don't see anyone you don't hear anything you just just have this constant presence and the map as you all are kind of looking back at the map you see on the top right corner of this map there's a written text there that mm -hmm. says to see what your future holds you must wait till the day you wake I am waiting for you here and there usually everywhere I know your thoughts I know your moves I'm watching and staring at you you look at me and regret for I know what you met and I look at you and see the truth what am I so you can see the truth too do you, do you have that written in the notes page somewhere yeah I that we could share. Do. Yeah. Boopity boop. Thank you. I don't think I like this. Uh, do I have an, uh, do I have any kind of like immediate reaction to this? Because this kind of feels very Your character may familiar. have a uh your character may have an inkling about what is beyond this, but... Yeah, you may have an inkling, but you all look at it and it almost seems like it's a riddle. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna opt out of trying to solve this one and look around. Uh, I'll just, uh... So... Tell everyone that... I'm not interested in the map, and I'm going to check the round to see if there's any any arcana on the walls for a door. Mm-hmm. Even if it's a bullshit excuse, that's what I'm doing. All right. You continue to so, look around the room. This door over here... I don't know how to... Something happened. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so... The two doors up in your top left, um, does one of them exist and one of them does not, or are they both there and we can investigate the other door? 
So one's a closet. Oh, the other okay. one's just a closet. Can I look in the closet? Yeah. Investigate. Ah, no. <laughs> you just see, like, an old scroll of paper and just, like, some empty, just, like, old robes and such. None are bloody, though, but they're just old robes in there. Ah, oh, man. Do I know what the robes are? Or they they look the same as the ones as Ivern was wearing. Okay. I take one of the robes out and I show it to Miles. Miles, does this look familiar? Uh I mean it's a standard priest robe. I would I have any other knowledge of it, I guess. I'm gonna uh, no, it, uh yeah, you can. Oh, hey, okay. I'm a little distracted with the map, Parable. If you could please uh, bother someone else at this moment. I look at Sunny. Sunny, do you know what these are? <clears throat> nope. <laughs> can I, can I, like, uh... If I talk, try to talk to Miles, could he hear me right now? <clears throat> yeah. I don't know how exactly big it is. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm going to turn to Miles and say, I know you're looking at that map right now, but considering you're the closest person to this church, do you have any idea what this could be? What this whole room in itself could be? I mean, I'm not going to judge you if you've done any torture stuff yourself. Things happen. <laughs> but it wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> uh, don't be ridiculous. The church isn't known for torture, um, and I have no idea what this is about, and that would be a deception. Allegedly. It's an alleged deception, but I have, like, my own thoughts on what I think this is about, so I think that that would be... I think that would be, like, deception in Miles' point of view, because he thinks he knows what some of this could be about. I think that's fair. Uh, that was out of game, but in game. <laughs> well, if you say so. Uh, and I'm sorry if this is all a bit heavy, considering what you're... Uh, this is kind of your shit, and we're sitting in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Do you have any that... plans to... Plans to what now? Do you have any plans to ask questions about the church? Not even of the prince, but whoever's in charge of this specific church. No. This and then I uh, like... check. I want to check the floor underneath the table too. Yeah. Uh, looks like a normal floor. Hey, Sonny, you you have pretty good eyes. Does anything about this floor seem odd to you? S -s -s sunny. Chia, chia, chia. Plant. He's having he, uh, plants a bit distracted at the moment. Can't come to the phone. Um, would Sunny look under the table? Yeah. So, Sunny's really just kind of engrossed in this mm -hmm. map right now and figuring it out. But you can always look again. Maybe look further at the like do you specifically want to look at the floor under the like actual table so the bottom side of the wooden table both. I want to see both I'm okay. convinced there has to be more to this room uh, as per my backstory so yeah. I will give it another shot oh that's Jesus. even worse <laughs> my god uh, I'm like, well, convinced that there's nothing under there I guess it's yeah. fine I just give up on the hopes and dreams and leave the room <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's so, the point of things being related to your potential backstory if you roll like shit? <laughs> so Miles, if you go to walk out of the room, uh -huh. you, you're walking and you look like you're going up the stairs. And as soon as you get to the top door, you mm -hmm. end up back in the room. Well, this is and great. Back in there. How do we react to this? Like, do we notice what oh, just happened? Like, 
Well, you can ask him because you guys didn't hear him come back down the stairs. You heard him go up. What are you doing here? What no, happened? Did you do that? I must be too preoccupied. There is something on my mind, and I just try again, you know? And the same thing happens. And then you end up right? All right. Well, in that case, in that case, I take a seat at this particular table. Just gotta think for a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna run up the stair to the stairway. Not gonna actually try to go up. I'm just gonna grab the wall and use uh, do an arcana check. Alrighty. There's magic. <laughs> <laughs> Even that low, I can be like, well, guys, I hate to say it, but we may be screwed. There's def there's magic, uh, there's something magical keeping us here, as I'm sure Miles can already attest to. And I don't know how to figure out how to fix this. And unless, wait, maybe I do, actually. I may have spoken too soon. Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, I don't know if I can do it to magical objects, so I have to check really quick. Um, let's see here. Why is that always out? Damn it. Yes, the 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 music is necessary. <laughs> um, Ah, no. Uh, wait. 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 Um. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay. No, I got nothing. You got nothing? You got something. I got nothing. I, yeah, literally, not, I can fix things, apparently, but I can't break anything. Um, can... Wait. Hmm. If I any... speak with animals, can I speak with the spiders in the room? Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna speak with the animals. Bugs. <laughs> Bugs. <laughs> yep. So you. Oops. Well, actually, hold on. Let me check. Awareness may be some. But minimum. Beasts can give you information about near my locations and monsters, including whatever they can perceive or you have perceived within the day. Might be able to persuade beasts to perform a small favor. Okay. Okay, cool, yeah, so they don't need to know a language. Alright, or intelligence. Alright, yep, so you find a spider. Maybe you find the spider with the beard on it. At the... <laughs> at the, uh... Place where all the, like... All the stand with all the old tools. And you walk to him, and what do you say? Um... <clears throat> I wanna ask him, uh... What... What kind of, I guess, what's been going on in this room? Like, what normally happens in this room throughout the day? Oh, just nothing. It just sits here. And history repeats itself. But we have ability to believe that Prince Harold comes down here to get himself checked up. Hamlet! 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 <laughs> uh-huh. Well, I haven't seen anyone down here in a many a days. Which many is days. lifetimes for a spider. Many days. Uh, do you or anyone you know know where they may have gone? Ah, the if map. Not here? The map takes them. The map? What do you mean? That's how you get out. The map. 
Do you, do you know how to use the the map? Like, is it magic? Yes. Oh. I'm not allowed me? to help, though. Why? Well, you already know how to use it. What? You know how to, to use it. We have to wake up? You have to answer the riddle. Mm. The riddle? Ah, oh, man. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Spider. If there's anything I can do to repay your kindness, please let me know. And I... I need... Emphasis on me, because I don't know about these four yahoos. And he just kind of scurries off behind the shelf, just not even responding. So I go over back so... to the map. And I said, well, here's the thing. I talked to my spider friend over there, and he says we have to solve the riddle in order to leave. Well, then, fine. It's reflection. Your reflection in a mirror no is always staring at you. It knows every movement you have. That doesn't quite fit with the first part, necessarily. That is my thought. I'm That's waiting for you here and there, whichever mirror you're looking in. Usually everywhere, wherever you are in a mirror, you are. And I and it knows your thoughts because it's you. I know your moves because it's you. I'm watching and staring at you because it's you. Reflection yeah, but answers. Does that have to do with uh, wait till the day you wake and see? Because what your you don't. You holds. can't. You can't see. Uh, the reflection cannot see yeah, you yeah, until you, you wake up. While you're asleep, but but you still have a reflection while you're asleep, technically. So that's another part. And what it is that? Either way, I think I agree with you at, at the end of things, though. And nothing happens. So it's not reflection. Well, it looks like it Would it well, be a mirror? Nothing happens. Hmm. Wait, is there a mirror in the room? Nope. Shit. Well, that was the best I had. <laughs> See what your future holds. Well, but do we just have to do we just have to give answer or do we have to make the answer reality? Maybe we need to go to sleep. Hmm. That actually sounds like it could be a thing on your it does. on the bloody beds look i don't know if i trust that sleep on the I'll, table i'll okay. let you go first then, right? yeah. i hop on the table <laughs> do you hop on or under I'll... the table <laughs> i i was under the table earlier so i don't know why there'd be an I under the table, on the table. okay Hop on it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happening. See your future holds. You must wait till the day. Can I do a perception check now that we've answered with, uh, with reflection, which uh, is what Miles assumes to be more or less correct, and he just wants to see if there's a noticeable change yeah ah! you could look again you can reinvestigate things a reinvestigate wait i perceived is must i oh, you could do okay it here it goes or... let's reinvestigate i already perceived but let's do <laughs> it. all right so as you're looking around the room you know nothing's really changed and you think well there's got to be more something somewhere and as you pick up the other piece of paper on there, you notice that there's, like, a hole in the table. And in that hole, you see, like, scratches as if someone has written on the table itself. Oh, yeah, go on. What's written there? And it's really hard to tell, and it seems like it's, a, it's as if in a language that you don't know. Oof. Uh, let's see. What languages do I know? Only the shitty ones, got it. <laughs> Does anyone know how to know what chicken scratch this is? Uh, I'll check next. I will also check. 
I have a couple languages. Um, yeah, I've got four languages. Uh, how do we do? Holy crap! What four? Uh, Druidic, Sylvan, Halfling, and Common. Oh. Okay, you do not know Holy it. Crap. I don't. I imagine. I know Infernal. Nope, you do not know it. I know Dwarvish and Common. Nope, you do not know it. This uh, is Harbo, what was your languages again? Sylvan, Halfling, Common, and Druidic. Okay, nope, you do not know it either. And I just have for. Less, yeah. Nope, you do not know it. None of you know it. My, butler, my butler knows Elvin. Okay. Is that all he knows? Jarvis isn't uh, even here. No, 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 no. Hey, Mom, he, he knows, uh, let's see. He knows... Abyssal. Abyssal, yes. He knows the demonic nope. languages. Under nope. common. Nope. You guys, no one knows what this says. Hey, hey Miles? Meanwhile, Sunny's yeah. passed out on the table. She got too overwhelmed. Yes. <laughs> so she's now sleeping. Yeah. Uh, Miles? I have a question. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not exactly, as you know, I'm not exactly thoroughly knowledgeable on your religion, but could death or the god of the egg be the thing that we look at and regret? And if we truly wake when we die and we meet the god, would that be a good enough answer, do you think? I don't know its name, so if you know its name, maybe that's the answer. The god is the great egg, but that is a good answer. Uh, you you look at death and you regret it. Uh, death knows uh, what you met. Look at you, see the truth. The um, hmm. No, I don't think it's the only other answer though. I can think. The only other answer I can out, think. While they're talking it out, um... And since there's now a hole in the table, can I check underneath the table? Yeah. Oh, finally, someone checks underneath the table again. Thank goodness. Yep. I and what were you going to say to until right are? now? Yeah. I was going to say the only yeah, other thing I can think. It's cursed, dude. Because of some. The hmm. only other thing I can think, because of some things that I saw, is that the answer might be the great Prince Hamlet. Or just Hamlet itself. Nothing happened. But well, that's officially all I got. And Haribo, when you look under the table, um, are you looking specifically like at the floor or under the table, like the wood itself? I'm looking at the wood itself. But all I right, can also you do the... an investigate on the uh, floor, just a, all right, like a separate one. Nope, it's whichever you want to do. Okay, so I'm looking at the table first, and okay. then I'm going to look at the floor. Okay. Hmm. That's, that's okay, floor. Okay. Of course. Of course. Um, so you look <laughs> at under the table, and there is writing on it, but nothing stands out. And the floor you can tell is completely normal 100% of the way. <laughs> and when you pick up the rugs, because there's two rugs under there, they're kind of split. You look under the rugs even, and there's nothing there. This is a solid stone floor. I mm -hmm. crawl out from under the table, and I'm just like, there's writing underneath the floor. Or, there's writing underneath the table, but let me tell you, this floor is some what? nice stone floor. I look at I guess, curl under the table to look at the writing. Please. I'm sure Zeminar does the same. <laughs> Please. Please, someone with a higher yeah. investigation Please roll. Yeah. Look under the table. Yes. Please roll oh my god. Will... Do we have to investigate this again? Yes. Uh yeah. Oh, okay. Zeminar, yours as well. Okay. <laughs> so you both look and you're reading and it looks like Zeminiar, what you're gathering on the table is that these are, like, other people's thoughts or, like, working it out. And, Miles, you also have that same assumption, but then you see one that's circled. And it says, points in your life, question mark. And that's where we will leave the session tonight. Oh, points, huh? Damn it! <laughs> and 
we will leave this for the viewers to also figure out the answer to the if riddle. If you have any guesses, leave them in our comment section of this video or DM us on any of our social channels and we'll make sure we guess all of them in our next stream. <laughs>